Dear friends, today's question is Rishu saves X percentage of her income. If her income increases by 26 percentage and the expenditure increases by 20 percentage, then her savings increase by 50 percentage. What is the value of X? So we know that income minus expenditure is savings. So let us take income equal to P, expenditure equal to Q, then P minus Q will be the savings. Here savings given that it is X percentage of income, income is P, therefore P minus Q equal to x percentage of p that means x by 100 p p minus q equal to x by 100 p therefore keep the like terms together then q equal to p minus x by 100 p put this as equation 1 next also given that p becomes p increases 26 percentage of the tot actual income that means 126 per 126 by 100 p 26 percentage p plus 26 percentage means 126 by 100 p similarly q increases by 20 percentage that means q plus 20 percentage q equal to 120 percentage Q 120 by 100 Q and the X savings becomes 50 percentage increase. Here savings is X by 100 of P that is X by 100 of P becomes 50 percent increments X by 100 P plus 50 percentage of X by 100 P means 150 percentage of X by 100 P. 150 by 100 into x by 100 p. Next, the standard equation p minus q equal to savings, income and expenditure equal to savings. So, the enhanced income, expenditure, and savings can be written as 126 by 100 p minus 120 by 100 q equal to 150 by 100 into x by 100 p. Multiply all terms to, together by 100 on both sides. We get 126 P. There are 100 cancelled. Next, 120 Q. There are also 100 on numerator and denominator will be cancelled. Next, 150 by 100 will be cancelled. Then becomes 150 X by 100 P. That is all remaining by multiplying by 100 on both sides. Just to replace the Q by its value. Its value is given in the equation 1 P minus X by 100 P. So P minus 120 into P minus X by 100 P equal to 150 X by 100 P. Open the bracket, we get 126p minus 120 into p, 120p, minus 120p. Minus 120 into minus x by 100p, minus into minus plus 120x by 100p, equal to 150x by 100p. Next, all the terms have p, so that can be cancelled by dividing by p, all terms together on both sides. So 126 P by P means 126 minus 120 P by P means 120 plus 120 X by 100 equal to 150 X by 100. In all terms P can be removed by dividing by P. Next 126 minus 120 is 6 plus 120 X by 100 equal to 150 X by 100. Keep like terms together, we get 150x by 100 minus 120x by 100 equal to 6. Multiply both sides by 100. All terms by 100, we get 150x minus 120x 
both the 100 will be cancelled then 6 in 100 is 600 150 x minus 120 x equal to 30 x equal to 600 therefore x equal to 600 by 30 equal to 20 so x equal to 20 means the value of x equal to 20 this is the 